I don't go to the movies or watch TV anymore because Hollywood hates America and they hate my values and they hate my principles, right? You hear it all the time. I hear it all the time. Oh, here's my favorite one. Conservatives just aren't creative. Oh, oh, uh, it just turns out that the only reason why liberals are the only ones in Hollywood who are making entertainment product is because liberals are more creative and conservatives have no creativity. Okay, guys, watch this trailer for a brand new series of graphic novels that loved this country and has a great story about one of our founding fathers. Watch. Yeah, that's undeniably creative, and you see the artistry leaping from the screen. I first met Sean Salter when I was working in Hollywood with Andrew Breitbart, and he was trying to assemble a whole crew of Right of Center artists around him to change this country. Sean Salter is the creator of Silence Do Good, and he joins us now. Sean, that is beautiful. Congratulations on this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind me saying, because obviously you're an artist, and... You're conservative. How's that possible? Um, I don't know. I was born this way. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> wow. So it's you that Lady Gaga was singing about. I had no idea. Yes, right. just me. But you do hear that all the time. I always love that. Whenever I would talk to other you know, people in the entertainment business, and I said, well, you guys never hire any conservative people. It's only liberals who are working. And I said, well, that's because liberals are just more creative. We're more free with our ideas and our art. It's bull. Totally. It's, it's, it's not true. Uh, there's a lot of us. Some of us are just afraid to be out. I was one of those people for a long time. Yeah. Uh, kept my uh, views to myself because I didn't want to get fired. But now we're kind of living in an age where you kind of have to pick a side. So I'm picking a side. I'm going to go with the one that wants people to be free, uh, not the one that wants to enslave people. Is there something about the comic book and graphic arts world that, that sort of sets itself apart? Because I, I know a lot of conservatives from this world, from the, the sort of comic book. And not all of them, trust me, there's plenty of crazy liberals in the comic book world. But there it does seem to be a little bit of gang of you. There is, and it's growing. The Iron Age of comics is here, and it's here to stay. And I don't think that the, uh, the other side is too happy about it, but, you know, two tears. Graphic uh, novels and this kind of artistry is, uh, it, it, it sort of hit a huge resurgence probably about 15 years ago, maybe even longer. And they can say, oh, it's a fad, it's a flash in the pan. It continues to grow. It's, it's a huge industry. Yeah, it, and it's, I think it's going to, like I said, it's here to stay. I mean, people love to read and why not read while you're looking at cool imagery. Uh, and the good thing about comic books is that naturally progresses into movie and into television, as we've seen uh, Hollywood kind of figure that out. I uh, Let's talk about this project in particular, because first of all, I love the, the creative idea here. So this is a young Ben Franklin, Silence Do Good, for those of you who know your history, that was uh, Franklin's pen name, right? Uh, and he gets caught in a time machine. How, I mean, what were you drinking, literally, when you came up with this? Uh, maybe some vermouth. Uh, ah. No, he, uh, he actually gets kidnapped and trapped in a VR program that's run by an artificial intelligence that thinks it's God. Okay. Oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, now, is there, is there some sort of, like, uh, end of the world prospect here or end of America prospect that he's trying to save? Absolutely. This is a world uh, where you will own nothing and be happy. And everyone's basically living in a VR program while robots and AI run their lives. Ah. And Ben Franklin kind of thinks this is abhorrent and decides to team up with a ragtag group of misfits to 
literally save the world from an artificial intelligence that thinks it's God and is going to control your life. And now you've decided to open this up so that everybody can be a part of this project, which really is sort of the way of the future, I think, for creative projects like this. When you get uh, a, a fundraising campaign and a crowdsourcing sort of campaign, you're free to do the work exactly the way you want to do it. Exactly. I don't have to listen to some woke guy in a tower building somewhere in New York or Los Angeles telling me I have to, you know, remove some of the uncomfortable things in the story. I can just tell the story the way that I've envisioned it long ago uh, and, you know, get people to be a, 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 on board with that, which so, is really exciting. So how can people participate in this project if they want to be a part of it? They can go to my website, saltydraws.com or turkeyrobot.com, whichever uh, suits your fancy. Uh, check out the trailer if you haven't, you know, you want to see it again. Look, look at uh, all the art and then uh, think about pre-ordering. We only need about 1,800 pre-orders in order to launch this full series of 100, about, it's about four books of 100 plus pages of storytelling. Wow. Uh, now, by the way, if people are watching this and they seem to see something about your art that rings familiar, they're right. You're the artist who creates the cover art for all of Kurt Schlichter's novels, right? The Kelly Turnbull It's true. Series. I am the cover artist for the People's Republic series. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Kurt's a good friend. And it's, it's been great. That, that book series is amazing. And everyone should check that one out as well. Yeah, it is. Um, in fact, I think he's working on his seventh book right now. He, I only know that eighth? because... Oh, is it the eighth book? His yeah. Eighth. Well, yeah. just because he texts me every other day telling me how many pages he's finished. It's actually kind of annoying, as you know. Um, I, will, will projects like this continue to change the way entertainment is delivered to us? Because I mean, we're sick of fighting and trying to get Hollywood to change. They're not going to. But when you see what Angel Studios has been able to do and some of these other independent projects and what the team over at Daily Wire is doing, do you get the sense that it's not about changing Hollywood anymore? It's just going over Hollywood's head. Yeah, we are in the season of shifting from complaining all the time about Hollywood to just becoming the new Hollywood. And I think that would be my uh, my my request of conservatives. Stop complaining so much about Hollywood uh, and relinking to their woke nonsense and just support people who are trying to create stuff that doesn't suck. <laughs> that's well, that's the key. Well, and the other problem is I, I beat this drum all the time. We've been friends for over a decade now. You've heard me say it. When a kid goes to their parents when they're in high school and they say, I want to draw, I want to be an artist, I want to be a musician, I want to be a writer, conservative parents turn them away from that. We, we don't allow them to be creative kids and creative young adults. We want them to be lawyers or Wall Street bankers or something because, you know, our world needs more of them. Yeah, exactly, because our world has been made better by lawyers. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, would you, what do you suggest to parents? I mean, listen, they have a point. It's like, no, I don't want you to be an artist. I want you to be able to pay the rent. Well, you can pay the rent as an artist. I've done it for 25 years. I've done it in Hollywood in, in the heart of, of liberal fascism for, for 25 years. Um, it's possible. What you have to do, want your, from your kids is be great at what you choose to do. Uh, and if it's an artist, be good at it. Be great. Maybe don't go to college because uh, clearly that's a, they're going to be brainwashed. But right. maybe go to trade school and just practice, practice, practice and, and, and just focus on being excellent. Right. Be good at what you do, be a good person, hold on to those values and principles and morals that mm -hmm. we've taught you. And whatever your field that you choose, you'll bring those morals and principles to the table, even Hollywood. Sean Salter, yep. great stuff, man. Silence do good. I'm very excited to see this. And uh, we'll bring you updates once it's published. There's more to come. Keep it here. O'Connor Tonight on Salem News Channel.